Good morning, CBN.com. We're here with Ron Waterman, the H2O man himself, just to find out how tough he really is. But Ron, before we go into that, there's one thing that I thought was very interesting. You're a big guy now, but when you were younger, people used to pick on you. What was that like? Yeah, I was actually a short little chubby kid, and uh, until I got involved in, in the sport of wrestling in the fourth grade, I started to grow out of that and get a little bit tougher and a little bit stronger. And uh, by the time I was a high school senior, they weren't calling me chubby anymore. Do you ever want to go back to those guys that used to pick on you and say, all right, who's tough now? Oh, I've forgiven them. Okay. Hey, you're a good man. <laughs> so. Now, you're 6'2", 280, give or take. I'm not quite that big. So there probably won't ever be a time in my life where I'm locked in a steel cage with someone that's like you. So you're going to have to really explain to me what goes through your mind when you know you're in a situation where it's one man goes in, or two men go in, one man comes out. Well, Wes, we, we train pretty hard for those competitions, and by the time I step into that cage and they close it behind me, I'm, I'm pretty well prepared and confident in myself that I'm going to be the one that's coming back out of the cage at the end of the night. So, Now you got a little uh, water bottle here. Tell us what you're going to do. Well, this is one of the feats of strength that we do on Team Impact, and it's probably the most difficult feat of strength that we do. They say by the time that the bottle actually explodes, the pressure inside is equal to a semi-truck's tire. And when they explode, they explode pretty violently, so you guys are going to have to back up a little. All right, go for it. We'll give it a shot. Now, why are you wearing the sunglasses? When they explode, you never really know where the uh, pieces of rubber are going to fly, and oftentimes they'll come back and slap you in the ear. One of the guys actually lost his hearing for a while. It can come back and take an eye out, so we'll wear this just to be precautious. What you don't see is Ivory, who's our guest coordinator, is kind of hiding behind the Roger in the corner. So. All right, we'll Go see if it. we can make this pop this morning. There you have it. Wow. <laughs> I'm awake. You need some water or something after that? I do. <laughs> All right, there you go, buddy. Ron Waterman, thanks for being with us. And for more, tune in today's 700 Club right here on CBN.com. Thanks. Thanks, Wes. All right. <laughs> ah, that really gets you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the concussion waves on that.